talking about balls deep. I'm talking about balls deep. I'm talking about balls deep in love. What is up, fucks? It is iJet, and I'm here to watch a video with you. Um, I'm feeling cat-like today. I don't know if you guys can see him. It's kind of dark in here. But I'm wearing cat ears today. Because it's a cat ear kind of day. It is, trust me. It's that kind of a day. So today, we're watching a Chantal video. Um, I might have to break this one into two parts. This is quite a long video. It's a whole lot of shit to talk about. Because you guys know how I like to do my videos. We watch videos together. We cringe in unison like the family that we are. Comments where comments are due. And they're always due. Today's video was made possible by the queen, the goddess, just saying. The one who goes through these live streams and makes them <laughs> tolerable. Let's say that. Thank you. Just saying, you have the patience of a goddess. And we thank you for that. You, you probably have a lot of days in therapy. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> well, I hope they pay you well, ma'am. You deserve it. <laughs> Anyways, slap on your happy faces, take your happy pills, or your alcohol, and let's get to work. Because this one... This is interesting. Me you might want to break out your cat ears because it's definitely a cat ear kind of day. Mm. One day I'm going to end up drinking because of Chantal. Yeah, I'm going to let y'all know that now. Because the next step is it goes cat ears and then alcohol. Mm hmm. That's how it goes. That's how it progresses with me. It's cat ears and then whoa, alcohol. It's alcohol. That's how it goes. Yep. Let's begin. As the glass is still in my foot right now as we speak. Gravy shot. Cheers. It's nice to see you're taking that whole diabetes thing seriously. It's not like diabetes can kill you. You're doing great. That's actually really good gravy. I am diabetic. So therefore... You know what? I'm gonna test my blood sugar tomorrow and weigh in. I'm sorry, what? You're gonna test your blood sugar tomorrow and weigh in? Don't you? Don't you test your blood sugar before you eat? I'm sorry. I'm confused. You should. You should said that like you didn't test your blood today at all. Period. You don't test your blood sugar before you eat. Is this no? All right. Okay. Fabulous. Fantastic. I actually literally unblocked the- I unblocked so many people today that are still here. I, I'm actually amazed. Thank you for still being here. No, no. We're gonna do good tomorrow. I haven't eaten like this in a long time and I just feel like... <clears throat> I 
And I think that's enough food for today. I've been eating for like five hours. <laughs> Julia Rockford, thank you so much. Yes. I ate too much today. I feel like a bottomless pit. Oh, my stomach doesn't hurt yet. So you don't gauge when you're full by serving sizes or the feeling of being full. You gauge when you're done eating by the feeling of stomach pain. Are you, are you butt fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Where's Monty? Isn't Monty like... Doesn't Monty want to have sex with me? Bestiality is not okay. And it's illegal in like almost every state in America, I'm pretty sure. I'm just saying. She's eating with her mouth open and just smacking her lips and she... A cow chewing grass. If you've ever seen a cow pasture, looks just like it. And she's just snacking down with her mouth open. Just gnawing on shit. She reminded me of a cow. You're not supposed to fuck cows. I thought that's what she was alluding to. My bad. Oh, stories from the internet. That's right. Hi, Rest he wants to meet at Orange Julep. Hmm. Really, Monty? I know what you want. You want me to fog up those glasses of yours, don't you? <laughs> I feel like you're dancing monkey. Sam, this is what a midlife crisis looks like. You're part of it. <laughs> Nikki Bats, I drive 100% sober. I swear. I'm so, so sorry for your loss. I 100% take that seriously. So if I ever looked like I didn't, I promise you, absolutely never. Like, even with the vape now, like, it would, it's going to be hours and hours. Yes, I do. You guys don't freaking believe me anyways. You don't believe me. It's not that we don't believe you. No, it's, it's because we don't believe you. You... You got caught just the other day. You were lit beyond belief. And then we found out that you had to drive home from Dudeface's house. You went over there and came home like completely zooted, bro. And you wanted us to think that you didn't drive on that? I don't know about you, but even when I smoke the uh, little bit of CBD stuff I have for pain, it's like four or five hours I don't feel comfortable driving. Shit, I don't even feel comfortable riding in cars. It makes me just a touch uncomfortable. Seriously. We've seen you get into a car and not seem okay. Either you drive like you just don't give a shit and you're maybe on something and when you go outside it's just a whole nother you. But you you sit there and you record almost every you live stream your almost the entire day. You smoke up at your desk and then you live stream. Live stream is live, bitch, okay? We know the hour. If you live stream at this point when you just did some edibles, <laughs> a few hours later, you live stream yourself in a car going somewhere, we now know just at this time, say at noon, you did some edibles. And then at like three o'clock, 
you do another live stream where you're in a vehicle, it's like, hey, that's three hours, and you just did a shitload of edibles at noon. Dude, it's a live stream. You can't say it was hours and hours and hours ago. And it says that if you do edibles or vape or any of that shit, that you shouldn't be doing that. What was it, four to six hours or something like that? Or six to eight or some shit? It's different in other places. But still, you have the time get so sleepy you can't even eat. I don't feel good. I feel depressed. Yes, I'm depressed. <laughs> I just want to get married. I want someone to love me, like, <clears throat> passionately. Okay. This is just important. I'm not saying this to be a douchebag. There is absolutely nothing wrong with you. When you actually take yourself seriously, and I've seen you do it before, when you dress yourself up and you got your makeup on, and dude, you put on your makeup nice, I've seen you. You dress up, you put your makeup on, and you take yourself seriously and you stop farting and burping and doing all that shit, picking your nose, you can be quite attractive. The only thing wrong with you is when you open your mouth. You put yourself on the internet is trash. People treat you like trash because you, you just display yourself like trash. Maybe you should put yourself on the internet the way you dress yourself up. Your makeup's flawless. Sometimes you wear really nice clothes. I remember you used to wear this red dress when you used to do your mukbangs and shit. You looked flawless. There was nothing wrong with you. You dress up nice, I'm gonna be honest. Weight doesn't matter in the, in the equation. Big, small doesn't matter. There is always somewhere out there for you. Someone out there who loves you. I've been married for 20 years and I am a fucking basket case. I have narcolepsy, bipolar disorder, and I have fucking fibromyalgia. I am a fucking ticking time bomb of a disaster. But I found someone who can fucking, for some reason he loves me. You just present yourself as trash and people come and treat you like trash sweetie just stop doing that someone will love you bb sure as fuck did why did you get rid of bb again why didn't you just keep bb and adopt kids there are so many kids out there that do not have homes trust me my sister-in-law adopted a kid a fucking great kid. Beautiful. Love when he talks back to him. Have you ever seen a little baby kid talk back to people? That's adorable. Adorable. Especially when they cuss. Why didn't you just stay with BB? You loved him. He loved you. It was adorable seeing his little head in the background while he was having mukbangs. He's trying to play video games. Just stop presenting yourself as trash. Because people treat you that way. You don't really deserve it. But when you open your mouth, it's just bad. And romance me. How do I get the glass out? Do you want me to pass out? Did you remove glass from your foot? No, I need someone to do it for me. I can't do it myself. <clears throat> yeah, we can do OnlyFans. Yes! You want someone to romance you? You want someone to love you? First thing you have to do is get rid of half the fucking people that sit there in your chat. No one's gonna fucking respect you if you put your fucking ass all over the internet. Oh, uh, yeah, your chat is fucking toxic. Sometimes they're not. 
there are a few people that really fucking try to help you, but most of them are fucking douchebags. You gotta stop listening to them. How are you gonna find someone who respects you, loves you, wants to romance you, if you're doing OnlyFans? Think about that. Who's gonna want to treat something with respect and love and romance it when everyone else has seen its ass? It's just a thought. I told you, I'll steam those glasses up. Excuse me, I don't have an attitude. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, God. Stop. Everybody. I cannot make a decision about my life. Which is why I'm in limbo. I'm in purgatory. You guys like making fun of my yellow dress. You're mean. <coughs> yeah, all you mean people love the open chats. No, I'm not trolling with the glass. There's I can still feel that there's a piece. Unless... He definitely got a piece out because... You know? But... It's a little sore, so it feels like there's a, still a piece, a little bit... Why is it the right thing? Don't people... Doesn't everyone deserve, like, a second chance? Doesn't everyone deserve love? Doesn't everyone have a really good side? Like, everyone has a good side, you know? Oh, no, I don't want to hear it. This sounds very familiar. As someone who used to have a very punchable face, <laughs> as I like to call it, What she just said reminded me of something. When you have a partner with... Uh, mm, a temper? Let's call it that. Um, you work very hard to make sure that temper doesn't come out. And it is your fault. They make you think it's your fault that this this temper comes out, so you make sure you do everything in your power to make sure it doesn't come out. Even when it's not your fault, you think it's your fault. And she sounds like she's in a relationship where she thinks she's causing everything. I feel so sorry for her right now. What stuff are you gonna tell me, French fry girl? Sometimes I wonder, like, not just him, but like, if people, like, people you have sex with, you ever wonder, like, are they recording me? <laughs> like, I really get scared. Are you bathing regularly? <laughs> no. Well, regularly, that. I don't trust anyone. Uh. I just feel like crying. I don't feel like crying for sympathy. I don't want sympathy. Trust me. I just feel like crying because I just. Oh! I don't know what to believe. I don't know what to do. I don't know who to trust. I don't know. It's not just that. So, like, Monty is 38? I'm sorry. I'm just really. I'm high right now. And I'm just like. I'm just so, like, numb to everything. What? Like, oh, fuck. My life is just such a mess. <laughs> no, honestly, guys, honestly, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm laughing because I probably shouldn't have told you that. But a part of me just wanted to like think, know what people thought about the hobo. <laughs> I know, I don't know. He said he doesn't know her. Yeah, he said he did. I mean, she didn't even. She sounded like. She was kind of pretty, yeah. Kind of pretty big boobs, like drunk, easy to take it. Obviously with the condoms, looking for like someone to fuck, for like somewhere to stay maybe, you know, so. <clears throat> I removed the rambling story because uh, it's long and winded, 
But right here, she's asking everybody what they thought about a homeless woman sitting on the steps outside uh, Dom's apartment. Just sitting there, chilling, sleeping, saying hi to her as she goes over to Dom's house at four in the morning because she missed him. Dom didn't immediately tell her to leave. For some reason, she feels that Dom might have done her because homeless people can't find their way into apartment complexes where it's not raining or cold or anything of that nature to find a place to sleep. She is fucking batshit crazy. Around here, the homeless population like to find places where it's not, I don't know, raining or snowing. Kind of like uh, under the stairs in apartment complexes. Wow, imagine that. This bitch is nuts. She needs to stop. Yeah, she could have been pretty. Yeah, she had condoms in her pocket. Yeah, so you know what? Women that are homeless tend to have to sell their body for fucking money. It's called the facts of fucking life. I'm so sorry that you can't get it through your head, but it doesn't mean because a homeless woman's on the stairs outside your boyfriend's apartment that he fucked her. What is wrong with you? So any woman in the vicinity of your boyfriend, maybe someone who just walked up the stairs to go to an apartment above him, up, oh, she grazed the doorknob as she went by. She fucked him. What is wrong with you? My, you know, my husband works with women all day long. Ah, <gasps> he fucked them all, didn't he? If I go with your logic, he fucks chicks all day long. Oh my God, he goes to the gym with one in the morning. <gasps> he has, he fucks her on the treadmill. What the fuck is wrong with you? I think I do, I do want to talk to you like a professional about stuff. Leftovers fridge, okay. I can't. I can't. I don't want to lose the poor. I just want, I guess, just like something I can talk to, you know. That's what I use you guys for. I know I need therapy. But I also like to come on here. It is therapeutic for me to talk about, like, on this open forum. I don't know why. I can answer that. It's easy for you to get on here and talk to these people because they pay you. Number one. Number two, they like the way you ruin your life. It's fun to them. So of course they'll gag you on and whatever the fuck you're doing. They'll support whatever stupid fucked up thing you want to do. They're in it. They're in it to win it. You fucking up your entire life is pretty much game on for them. And three, no one is trained in helping you to unfuck your life. Like a therapist, or counselor, or psychiatrist. They will help you identify what the fuck you're doing and to help you stop it. But if you come on here, no one will challenge your bullshit and show you what you're doing wrong and help you change your life. These motherfuckers want to see you tear your life apart. They're enjoying you on the ride down. That's why you like coming on here. It's not therapeutic. These are a bunch of yes men and women. They're enjoying this. The rest of us aren't, but you don't care to listen to us. What do I want to do? I need some water. I think I'm going to go up to my room. You guys want to go upstairs? I think pizza's going to be okay, guys. I just feel so much guilt about, like, not realizing how badly if everything I've been going through has affected, like, everyone around me, but, like, fuck, like, I don't feel like I, I don't feel like I should take on that guilt. Like, I just don't. Because I don't feel like I really did anything purposely to hurt people. Like, I really didn't, and that's what bugs me. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. She fucking 
you had a best friend, you told, let's say you had a best friend of like 20 years and you told them that you were raped. Let's just an example. And they fucking blabbed it to like all your haters. Um, just to let you know, there's a name for that move. It's now called the Gabby Hanna. That whole signature move is called the Gabby Hanna. It's got a name now. When you told them not to. It doesn't matter if, if, if what she said was true or not. It has no no relevancy at all. What matters is what she did, and I'm not I'm not gonna get over that for, for a long time. And I'm not ready to. I don't wanna be bothered to. I just wanna be left alone. I don't wanna fucking think about her. I wanna talk about her. Actually gives me really bad vibes too. So that means that that person is toxic in my life. I don't care if you mean well. It doesn't matter if you mean well. You can shoot somebody in the head and be like, I meant well. I think you're miserable. You needed to be put out of your misery. All right, um, I'm going to say something a little unpopular. It's going to be super unpopular. I think when she came into the live the other day and discussed it with her because she's been ignoring her, I think that was fine. She, she knew that was the only place where she would fucking talk to her. When you don't give that person a a way of discussing it with you when you try to cut off ties with them when they're trying to help you they have no idea how to help you but they want to help you they're gonna find out ways to help you I know it wasn't a rape I get that but <sighs> how do I put this when a person's in a relationship and it's somewhat abusive, mental, physical, whatever, it's like being in a cult. It really is. There's no religious ties to keep you in it. It more or less is you're in love with someone. And the whole abuse part is just a bumpy part in the road. You believe fully, wholeheartedly that you can, if you can make it through the rocky part, you can smooth that road out and that will be part of the past. That this is just something you got to work through and you can change it. The I love yous you get from this person who just has these, I guess, tantrums that you don't ever notice is getting worse? I mean, when you're in it, you don't notice it's getting out of control. It takes a lot for you to notice. So your friend is going to try to get you out of there because you don't notice it's getting worse. You don't notice what's going on while you're in it. People on the outside can see what's going on. You think it's going to be fine, that this is just the bumpy part in the road, but what they see is the road is rocky all the way down. That you can't change them. <laughs> they will get worse. And sometimes your friends panic. And if you don't give them a way to talk to you, to try to talk about it and get through to you, they panic and try to find any other way. And I think when she came to the live, you cut off communication. I think when she came to the live, she was panicking. I don't, I, I don't think sending it to the T channels was a good idea.
I don't blame the, the I don't I don't blame the commentary channels they were given it so, so like that's not their fault they were given the DMs but I don't think it should have gone like that if she had her own channel and she made a video about it that's different that is completely different but I kind of am I'm kind of leaning towards understanding where she's coming from. It's kind of a traumatic thing, and you don't really want all your information. Like, if you can find in someone, do you really want them putting that out on the internet? Is that what we do now? There's no privacy? And she's correct when she says she has all these haters and... These people always look for things to hate her for. I kind of understand what she's talking about. But again, when you're in a relationship like that, you can't ever see what's going on. Everyone else does around you. What does blobbing to like the world do? What does that do? It doesn't do anything. I'm just saying I'm gonna need time. Like, hello, that like actually really fucking hurt me, okay? <laughs> and what did I do to Shannon? Other than confide in her. Just because I'm deciding to give somebody a chance and like work through stuff. She didn't even know the whole story. She had no fucking right to do what she did. Stop trying to co-sign what she did. That's my opinion, you're not gonna change my mind. That's just how it is. It's not going to save a life because what's it going to do? Save what life? My life is not in danger. You don't out your friends like that. You don't do it. You don't do it. You don't out the abuse to the fucking public and then go kiss a hater's ass or whatever. Like, you don't do that. It was fucking shady. You can team Shannon all you want. It was shady. Shady. Again, I kind of agree. I just, it's the whole thing of what it would you, what would you want done for you? Yes. Say you were in an abusive relationship and you confided in your friend. But you get, you you decide to give the person that you're in that relationship with another chance. So you tell your friend, giving them another chance, blah, 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 and they don't take it very well. So you stop talking to them. Would you want them to put it all over the internet? No. That's just how I feel. Now, if I block them and all that other shit and they come into my live stream, I can understand why they would do that. They're trying to get through to me. They're trying to talk to me. That's, uh, there you go. That's a way to do it. That's understandable completely. I'm not making communication with them because they're trying to get through to me telling me this is a bad idea. I can understand that live stream. And if she had her own channel and made a video about it and put that information in there, that's understandable also. It's her channel. You know, it's her story. It's her point of view. That makes perfect sense also. I could see that. She's trying to tell her side and let everybody know, my friend's in danger and this is, this is the proof I have. That's understandable. If that happened to me and my friend did that, I'd be like, that makes sense. That's her channel, that's her feelings. I would have to be okay with that because it's her channel and it's her, that's her story. I think, I think I would be fine with that. But to go to, I get what she, she calls them like hate channels or whatever, or haters. If that happened to me, I think I would just, I, that would be my invasion of privacy. 
the one to like tea channels and shit. I think it would be mad. Yeah, I think I would be a little pissed off. You know what I mean? Now, when the when she went to her when she went to Chantal's family, that was also that was also warranted. That was absolutely necessito, okay? That was a good move on her part. If I had a friend who thought I was in danger, damn right they would go to my family. Because that's just how my friends roll. Well, kind of. <laughs> they, they would not, they would not blink an eye. They would go straight to my parents and tell on me. Because my friends care that much about me. So I would understand if my friends went over and was telling my parents shit. Like, look, this shit's happening. This is going down. Get some brass knuckles. We're going over there to bust some ass. And then they'd come over with my parents. They don't fuck around. That's just how my family and them roll. <laughs> that is an expected thing that my friends would go tell my mom on me. <laughs> that's just how we roll in my family, okay? <laughs> so that's like under... I can't believe she's pissed about that. If my friends went to my family, I, I would understand it. Shit's about to go down. <laughs> okay? Like, that's why I don't understand why she's so offended. It really shows that her friend cares about her. It's actually kind of touching. She should... I don't know why she's so offended. Most friends would just be like, Oh, fuck you, I'm watching... I'm watching TV today. You're having a hard time? Someone's beating you? Oh, fuck it. If you're so concerned, you go to the authorities, or you go somewhere else, you go whatever. I never did that to her when she was going through her troubles. Never. She should not. It is very shady. So, yes. <clears throat> it doesn't matter, like, French fried Gora, where she go? Like, it doesn't matter if she went to you. Like, she had no right to do that. Period. Are you okay with your friends airing your trauma online? Are you okay with that? You, you know it's bullshit, so just stop. This part kind of annoyed me. Sorry, um... I don't have a smoke machine. I just, I'm, I'm vaping. I got my... Mm, I'm sorry. I know it looks like I got a... Mm, I got my douche wand, my bad. It's like super smoky today. Anyways. This part right here, I don't know why it's so hard for the people in her, um, in her chat to just admit that pulling a Gabby Hanna, you know, sh sharing basically the trauma or whatever that she shared with her to everyone on the internet is wrong. It is not a hard thing to admit pulling a Gabby Hanna is a douchebag move. They should just be like, yes, granted, playing a Gabby Hanna is wrong. What she did was, pr yeah, sharing your trauma online was shit. Well, the way she did it was shitty. Sharing it with the fucking, with the, as she called them, like, haters. It's that, I mean, you have to at least give her that. Pulling the Gabby Hanna was wrong. I don't know why they kept denying it. If they, they just denied, if they just said yes, granted. Doing that, pulling a Gabby Hanna was, was a dick move. This conversation probably wouldn't continually be as hostile. Giving her that, giving her that one thing would probably make this conversation not as hostile. No, I didn't do it to her first. She came in. Like, I was having a really nice time. You know? <laughs> like, I even messaged her and told her, like, hey, I told, I know we talked about everything in private. Um, despite that, I've made the decision for myself to give everything a try and work everything out. Um, blah, blah, blah. And she said, okay. 
So you don't come in my stream after and start shit when I'm having a good time. And like just out of nowhere with your fucking big mouth, be like, I ha I can't I can't stand this right now. Well then fucking leave. Or and and then be like, I hate Dom. And I never gave her permission. I, I confided in her as a friend. So don't tell anybody. Never gave her permission to fucking go and tell my mom behind my back. Never gave her permission to go and fucking uh, a novel to Dom, calling him a goof every fucking name in the book. All right, the cat's gonna read something. Okay, she just said that she called Dom a goof. Just so you guys know, it's not the American slang for goof. The Canadian equivalent of the American term goof is used in the prison system to describe an informant, a molester, a child killer, and is usually segregated from general population in protective custody. So basically she called him a child molester. A child molester or child killer. That's what she called him. A goof is bad. A child, she called him a child molester, which I, I, I don't know why she basically called him a pedo, but she called him a pedo. And she called him a pedo quite a few times. She called him goof like, I think it was like four times in the messages she sent. I would like to, uh, I would like to know why. If she just uses pedo for fun or there's actual reason. The word pedo is used. <laughs> but hey, we may never know. And guess where? Guess who was there when he read that? Me. Guess who he was mad at when he read that? Me. Then, come. Then fucking has the nerve to just like completely go and fuck. Then you go and like I don't know if she released DMs or not, but that's like fucking low. You don't ever do that. I was watching um, Sinatra, Mr. and Mrs. Sinatra, and um, he made like a very valid point, a super valid point. He read some of the DMs between the two, Dom and the, and the frenzy friend, and he made a valid point. During the argument between them two, he did never, not once, denied doing anything to her hitting her nothing never denied it and you think that would, if you are um if someone says you abuse somebody that would be the first thing you would write back i didn't i didn't abuse anybody anybody i think she also said you uh, Got, like gave her drugs and all this shit and abused her. Not didn't deny anything. Just called her a nasty name. That would be the first thing out of my mouth is that I didn't do anything to anybody. But no, he didn't deny any of it. Ever. That's what I'm saying. Regardless of what Dom did, regardless of what happened between us, it's not the point. Some people can't seem to understand that you know like you don't do that you have finger marks maybe they are because also sex causes bruises not just abuse <laughs> i'm not and, and you know what i'm not saying if it did or didn't happen that's not the point that's something about my life i did not want to tell the fucking world basically is what i'm saying i don't want i don't didn't want to tell everybody <clears throat> otherwise i would have told it I don't want you to know what happened. And that's not the point. That's exactly why I'm pissed off. And I'm and I feel very um betrayed because I didn't want this traumatic experience that all over the fucking internet for everybody to know about. Because and, and I wasn't ready for it. You know? And I hinted at it. Well, it's my thing to tell. It's not anyone else's story to tell. So Sorry, but if you think it's okay to out your friend's trauma online or whatever they went through online, that's fucked up. Sweetheart, please use the correct term. If you think it's cool to pull Gabby Hanna, you're fucked up. 
You're seriously fucked up. I'm gonna keep pulling this till it works and people start using it. <laughs> hey, at least I'm using the term right. If you think it's okay to pull Gabby Hannah, you're fucked up. You are. You need help. Stop. Get some help. Seriously. Stop pulling Gabby Hannah's. The cat said so. <laughs> I treat Pete's just fine. And you know what, friends? Yeah, like, I don't know why, why I treat Pete's bad. Like, I've done a lot for him. He's done a lot for me, you know? And you know what? He would never, 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 never do anything like that. I know he wouldn't. To protect my life by telling strangers on the internet, something like that. And anyway, what if he was like an abuser or I was really scared of him and he like, he's reading that when I'm there. Like that puts me in more danger. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not saying if it did or didn't happen, MW. That's what I'm saying. You guys are saying, just because I'm not talking about what happened, that I'm saying, that I'm lying and saying, no, it didn't happen. Nothing happened. I'm, I'm lying to you guys. It's not the point. That's not what, that's not what I'm doing at all. You know what I mean? See, she went to YouTube Underground and Club Chase. What kind of fucking friend does that? Okay. I love YouTube Underground. Seriously. I love YouTube Underground. But we all know. Let's be real. Mmm. That should have been the last place. <laughs> Chicky should have went. How many times have YouTube Underground and Miss Chantal been at each other's throat? You know what I mean? They've wanted to kill each other how many times? Yeah, I don't... I'm gonna kind of agree on this one because this should have been the last place <laughs> she should have ran to with these DMs. <sighs> that was kind of a dumb idea. I'm not a piece of shit. I would never do that to a friend. Ever. Never. And MW, that's not the point. I don't owe you shit. I don't have to tell you shit. If something happened to me in my life and I, I don't want you to know, I'm not gonna fucking tell you. Who are you? I don't have to tell you. I don't have to tell you. I Who did I call CPS on? I never called CPS on anybody. Never happened. See, this is another reason I don't like understand her chat. She's... They can't understand the fact that she's allowed to have privacy. She doesn't owe them anything that she deems to be private. They're not owed anything. If she wants to keep something private, she can keep something private. And another thing is, is she's allowed to be offended when her friend gives out something she deemed extremely private. When she airs that out to channels that react to her videos that sometimes make her the butt of the joke. Now they have her personal information that she was eh, kind of traumatic for her. Now they have that. Something sensitive to her that she wanted to keep private. They have that now. And they're unfortunately reacting to something that was a little traumatic to her and that she wanted to keep private. For some reason, they just can't seem to tell her that she has valid feelings which she's allowed to have valid feelings out that at this point about it what her friend did was a little dickish i'm sorry if someone did that with me i, I confided them in something and they ran to other reaction channels so people could react to something completely personal i have eating me up inside sorry I would fucking rage. But again, 
if one of my friends had their own channel and decided to voice their opinion about it, I would see that as something different. It's their channel, and I think if they made a video about it, giving their personal feelings for their side of it, I would take that in a different way. I think that's valid for them to be able to do that. Because I believe your channel is a place where you can share your own feelings. But I would expect it to be told in uh, their perspective in it. Not just, oh, well, my friend's got this and this and this. And she's fucked over with this, but this, this. I would expect it to be in their perspective. Like, my friend's having this issue, and it makes me feel this way. And I wish I could help her in this way. And emotionally, it's hurting me in this way. And I wish I could do this to solve it. But this is unfortunately happening. You know what I mean? Doing it in that way. I think Shannon kind of took it off the rails when she went to reaction channels that actually kind of don't like her. Sorry. I think her, her chat is just making her more hostile by making her think that she's not having valid feelings right now, that her feelings are just the wrong reaction to what her friend did. But I really think her feelings are valid. The, they're in response to what her friend did. That she's having valid feelings and that she's not overreacting, that they are actually pretty valid right now. But they just can't admit to it. They just won't. They just won't give her the, yes, your feelings are valid, but. And the same person you're uh, defending that I wanted to call CBS on is vile and disgusting on Kiwi Farms all day. Making fun of Shannon's kids, actually. <coughs> These people are fucked. I want nothing to do. I, I just stay away. Thank you. Doesn't matter. It, it, you, you're calling me dense when you're missing the fucking point. You're saying you hinted at abuse. You're missing the point. It doesn't matter if it happened or not. It doesn't matter. The point is, she it wasn't her place to come in here and tell everybody. Do you get it? Or... <laughs> I fuck. No, it doesn't matter if he hit me or not. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change the fact that she's... It doesn't matter what happened to me. What happened to me, happened to me. And I told her and confided in her. You don't come on and tell the whole internet when you know how many haters I have and everything. Something I want private. I don't want people to know. All you people, I don't want you to know what happened. And you're not gonna know. So you can keep calling me a liar, you can keep whatever, but I'm not telling you what happened because it's not your business. It's something very private, traumatic, and I don't wanna talk about it with you people. And I didn't want this to be a problem. And now it's drama because somebody who's supposed to be your fucking friend and who apparently cares about you, so they do this and cause more problems for you. So go fuck yourself. It's not working. You just cause more shit. <clears throat> like seriously, you all know you would be super pissed if your friend did that to you. Give me a break. Give me a break. I asked her not to share. Like that was something like I would have never told anybody about. It doesn't matter if I'm with an abusive junkie. It doesn't matter if I'm with an abusive junkie. <clears throat> I'm not going to thank her. You know why? Because she didn't do shit. Her outing me to everybody or whatever she's trying to do, going and talking to all the reaction channels, that's not helping me. So what am I going to thank her for in the long run? Thank you. You really saved me from an abusive relationship. Like, if anything, like, she's had no part in... If anything, I just feel more jaded that I can't trust people, that I have no friends. Like... That's what it does to me. You know, she should have at least fucking come to me and said, listen, if you don't say something about it, then I'm going to say something about it or I need more details. Um, I'm still waiting. Can you talk to me? Or I'm going to tell your mom. Uh, not just fucking because you're angry and you're emotional about what happened to me. You make this about like, oh, I can't lose my friends. I'm going to go tell my mom. Like you, you just handled it completely fucked up. 
You didn't think about me at all. You didn't think at all. And that's what she does when she's angry. She doesn't think. She's she's completely like. Anyway, I'm not talking about the abuse. It's, we're not going to blame the abuser. It doesn't matter because the, that's not the issue. What happened in what I told my friend confided in is not the issue. The issue. You guys don't have a right to know what happened. If I didn't want you to. This isn't worth the money. I'm not doing anything for money. I'm not. And I'm not mad. I'm perfectly fine. Like the chat's not freaking me out or anything. You, I'm talking about my side of things, how I feel. Like this is, this is why I'm not ready to forgive. I'm not, uh, you know, like you people act as if like if your best friend didn't do that to you, <laughs> if you were a YouTuber and you confided in something and they made it public. Like something, this like something that made me like sit in my room for like five days straight. You know, just like, <laughs> anyway, but whatever happened is, doesn't matter because like I told her not to tell anybody, you know, it matters. Yes. If I'm getting abused, it matters. But in this context, even, okay, let's just say, let's just say, okay, sure. I, I can't, uh, no, I haven't accomplished anything in the past three months at all. I have been going downward spiral. Yeah. I'm not going to deny that. <laughs> like, do you think I'm blind? I'm very aware that that's what's happening. Am I fully 100% self-aware right now? Probably not. And yeah, I mean, obviously, that's I know that. But I also just feel like... I guess I just feel like, why am I being attacked? Like, Why am I being attacked for falling in love with somebody? Why am I being attacked for liking drugs too much i can't help it you know like why am i being attacked for that like ah sound familiar that's right i said it in one of my videos it was one of the things i said to myself as a way to push myself into using again it was a conversation i had in my head when I was arguing about myself, getting something. It was a long drawn out thought I would have about, well, you know, who said drugs are bad? I mean, really. You know who says drugs are bad? People that don't use them because they don't understand them. They're afraid of them. And only, you know what? They give me shit because they don't have the balls to do it. They don't have the balls to take them. They don't know what it's like. So why am I listening to them? I can handle it. I have fun with it. Yeah, it hurts all over afterwards, depending on what you do. But I mean, honestly, they're the only ones telling me that I'm wrong, that I do it, and that they're going to kill me. Drugs. So how do they know they're bad? They've never experienced them. It's one of the ways you fucking trick yourself back into doing them. That's why it sounds so familiar. Why, why am I being attacked for being hurt by something? You know, like, I'm not trying to normalize drug ab abuse and drug use. This is the part when the fuck face in the chat goes ahead and basically keeps pushing her. They've already disregarded her valid feelings a bunch of times. They wouldn't at least admit the logical thing of it being irresponsible and damn right shitty 
for Shannon to have released personal information and private messages to the intranet. Which, yeah, it's kind of dickish. Nothing. The wouldn't at least just admit that honestly, yes, that is kind of fucked up. That now my shit's on the internet. My private feelings are on the internet. They also wouldn't give her validation for actual normal feelings about something so horrible. And now they're trying to say that even if a person gets actual pain, actual um, anger management classes to work through what kind of anger they have to stop being an abusive partner, they just now said they don't trust them still and there's no fixing them just to agitate her. They believe they don't deserve a second chance. Which now has led me to believe that the person, whoever this is in the chat, is an asshole who's trolling because he thinks it's funny. Like I said, most of the people in her chat are trash human beings. It seems like they're there just to stoke a fire under her ass. To anger her. Which, consider she is in depressive state. I'm not glorifying drugs. You guys want me to be honest, and then when I'm honest, you fucking, like, give me shit. The fuck? <laughs> I'm just saying, yes, I enjoyed, like, when I did cocaine, I liked it. Now, no, like, there's just, there's just so, mu so much more negative than positive with that drug. But I do like edibles, and I like marijuana. <laughs> you know what I mean? You will see the receipt. You think I'm not gonna donate the money? Money? How much was it again? Four eighty or three eighty? Four eighty. I'm just gonna get five hundred. Is it five hundred? There you go. Nobody fucking believes me, anyways. So, so why do I bother defending? Why do I bother defending myself? Hmm. Think about it. All right, let's kiss and make up. I'm fucking bored of this shit. You don't think that people who are even people who are abusive deserve like a second chance? Like if they go to like. I'm not saying, I'm just saying, like, I guess playing devil's advocate, like, I'm not saying he is, I'm just saying, like, if they go to, like, anger management and stuff, you know what I mean? So they just don't ever get to be, in, like, with anybody ever again?